All right, hello, hello, hello. We're doing another tier list. The other one actually did better than any of my other videos. So, <laughs> <laughs> so but that's a good thing. We we're getting more views. Yeah. So, anyways, this one is uh, cartoons from Cartoon Network. It also has some Adult Swim stuff, which I've actually seen quite a bit of Adult Swim stuff. So I'll be able to do that. Yeah, I have. I have not. <laughs> so uh, yeah, let's let's get this going. We're gonna try to go faster than last time. Because uh, Ashley's got work long. soon. Yeah. And also, it was like 50 minutes. <laughs> okay, so let's get this started. 16. So I've seen some of it, but I haven't seen a whole lot. And I really can't remember what happens in it. I want to say that they're in a mall for a lot of it. I think so. I think... <laughs> oh, I remember a little bit now that you say that. I did not like it, though. I think I've seen maybe an episode. I'm going to stick it down here. We can determine later mm -hmm. adventure time adventure time's amazing i've it's up here for me i've only seen a couple episodes and i thought it was okay i think i think it's a tier i think it's really really good but it's a little bit like haha look at me i'm random that's true and yeah sometimes that that gets a bit old all grown up that's oh, a rugrats, rugrats all yeah. grown up. uh never seen it i watched um some of it i thought it was pretty good but like it always sucks when they take a show that's really awesome and then they're like, "Yeah, we're gonna make, we're gonna make them adults and you're gonna watch it again." And it's like, that's kind of cool, but not really. Yeah. Like, I'd but rather just stick with the Rugrats. Like, if this had never been around, I'd be okay. Okay. What do you think? Probably like B or C. B or C. Um, you can go ahead and put it in B, and like at the end we can see if we want to move it down. Okay, the Amazing World of Gumball. I think the uh, animations are really cool. I have no idea what this is. Oh, you haven't seen it? I have no idea what All this right. is. All right. <laughs> I think the animations are really cool. Um, it's not Adventure Time. It's not better than Adventure Time for me. I'm thinking either here or here. Uh, uh, I'll stick it there. I, I enjoyed it. I, I think it's pretty cool. Okay, American Dad. Never seen this one. Either. All right, that's me again. <laughs> um, I really don't like American Dad that much. People love American Dad, but I don't know. It's kind of like Family Guy with how it's just weird little random clips of stuff that's like, ah, remember when this happened? And then they go back to when that thing happened, and you're like, oh, I was supposed to laugh at that, but. Sometimes it has some really funny stuff. I think it is... I'll stick it there. Okay. Aqua Teen Hunger Force, another one. So, I think Aqua Teen Hunger Force is much better than American Dad. But I really don't like it that much. It's kind of one of those ones that you watch when you're under the influence of things. Not saying that I do that, but, like, that's what my brother told me. He was like... It's only good if you're high. <laughs> yeah, I've had people, like, at work come up and tell me to watch something, like, just customers, and they're like, yeah, it's so much better when you're high, and I'm like, that is illegal, and you should not be telling me that. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to stick it there, because it's actually kind of funny, but it's also super weird. Yeah. Oh, oh Avatar. Avatar. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what is <laughs> this? But it blends in with the background. Um, that one has to go I've up. I've seen, I'm just trying to drag it what do you what do you think because I, I haven't seen that much of I it. i love avatar the last airbender like i have all of it on dvd i think it is amazing and it should it should go in s okay batman the animated series uh, I, don't, I don't think i've ever seen that i have not either ben 10 ben 10 super cool i yeah <laughs> i liked it when i when i was growing up um here yeah, I'd say there. Okay. Big time rush. That was dumb. The Boondocks. I have seen maybe an episode of this. Uh, I'm going to put it in never seen because I haven't seen enough of it to judge it. And I know people will judge me very hard <laughs> if I put it down here. Because I know so many people love it. Camp Laszlo. That sounds so familiar. But I, I can't think of it. I remember Camp Laszlo, kind of. 
Uh, I'm thinking here, just based off of what I remember. Okay, I I'm, can't remember what yeah. it was about. It was, like, around the time that we stopped watching like Cartoon Kurt. Network. Or at least the time, around the time I did. Cat Dog. Cat Dog is awesome. I think it should at least go at the very end of A or the beginning of B, because that show, I, that's my childhood. I watch that all the time. I think... I kind of want to do this. <laughs> All right. Because I like Cat Dog more than Ben 10. Yeah. Chowder. I think Chowder's really good. I like Chowder. I don't know what to say about Chowder. I, I don't know <laughs> what to think about Chowder. It's another one of those, like, just, like, random shows. They really like these, like, where you can pull in weird creatures and weird animation and kind of do whatever you want to do. I think it's right here. I'll go with that, yeah. Okay. Uh, the Cleveland Show, never seen it. I know that it's from Family Guy. It's where Cleveland, uh, Peters, I don't know if he's his neighbor, but he gets his own show. It, I don't know if it's funny or not. Star Wars The Clone Wars. Well, I know plenty of people who think this is the best thing they've ever seen. I think that lots of people liked it because they brought so much more lore to it. Yeah, they kind of continued the story like you have the main story and then this kind of is like oh yeah this is why they did this or like it kind of explains more in it i think right here i'll go with that yeah because i liked it and i like tried to go and watch it but then i got bored of it and stopped watching it I just because the episodes are very uh repetitive they just kind of do the same thing cory in the house you're gonna do some meme -y thing. Some meme -y thing. I can't think of a meme -y thing right now. Uh, Cory in the House. I thought it was okay, but, like, the whole reason that Cory in the House is a thing, it's from That's a Raven. It's, like, the sideshow of it. I liked it about this much. I thought it was pretty good. I don't know if I liked it more than Ben 10. No, I think Ben 10 should go in front. Okay. Ooh, Courage, Courage the, the Cowardly, cowardly dog. dog. That one was really good. Yeah. It was super creepy and like super weird, but it was awesome. Would you put it above or no, below? No, below. <sighs> okay. Oh, cow and chicken. Chicken and cow. I don't, I don't remember it. One. <laughs> I just remember uh, Chris at work talked about it a lot. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll put it in. Never seen. Just because if I have seen it, I don't remember any of it. <gasps> Danny Phantom. He's a phantom. <laughs> I really uh, liked this show. It was cool. I liked it about as much as I liked Ben 10. Alright. I think I liked it a little more. I, I like you did the broken thing again. Dexter's, Dexter's laboratory. 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 <laughs> <laughs> uh, I really liked it. I liked it A tier. I don't think I've ever seen it. Really? Yeah. Okay, well... This is about how much I like it. I'll let you do it. Most of the stuff in A tier is your stuff anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Drake well, and Josh. Drake and Josh is really Drake good. Drake and Josh it's, is awesome. It's up here for sure. Um, I think right here, honestly. I'll go with that, yeah. <laughs> Ed, Ed, and Eddie? Ed, Ed, and Eddie was another really good one. I Yeah, I liked it. I just... I'm surprised at how much I don't remember from it. Yeah. I just remember the characters and that they were there and there's Plank. <laughs> <laughs> it's another one of those dumb shows. I think that's a lot of these, though. I think right... Like here? Yeah. Or would I you don't put think it, it was... No. Cat Dog? No, it definitely wasn't better than Cat Dog. Oh, Fairly Odd Parents. What do you think? I remember, like, really liking it as a kid and stuff, but, like, I know we rewatched some of it, and I'm like, this just isn't as good as I thought it was. I liked it a lot when I was a kid, <laughs> and I still like it because the dad's so stupid. Oh, yeah? He is, like, he's just a big old memester. Um, hmm? I also want to put it behind Danny Phantom, next to Ben 10. So uh, how about how about that? I'll let you do that. Okay, cause I, I don't know why I like that show so much, but I did. 
Family Guy. Family Guy's pretty funny. Uh, I put it right above American Dad. Flapjack. Flapjack. I like Flapjack. I like that one, too. He's a little pancake. Uh, I like it a little bit more than Chowder. I'll let you do that, yeah. Okay. I haven't watched it as much as I watched Chowder, but I remember it being cool. The Flintstones. Man, we're going way back. Oh, they got the Jetsons, too. You <laughs> sound so disappointed. I'm not disappointed. I'm just saying, like, wow. Now, I haven't watched a whole lot of the Flintstones. I haven't really either. But I think it should go high up just because it's so iconic. Like, everybody, they like their own vitamins. Like, I think everybody as a kid has had Flintstone vitamins at one time. Like, you used to I, take them. I don't think we should do any of this by how iconic they are. Because if we were doing it by how iconic they are, Family Guy would be, like, top of A tier. And I don't want to do that. <laughs> All right. Do you want to just put it here? We haven't seen enough to really. I think so, yeah. We we don't have enough to judge it off of. <laughs> I know this is, like, one of your favorite shows. <laughs> Foster's Home. Uh, somewhere. Oh, gosh. I'm so sad that they stopped making them. I, I think mean, they stopped go. making like ninety percent of yeah. these. But Foster's Home, they ended it early. I feel. Yeah, they only had like one or two seasons, didn't they? It wasn't very long. It wasn't long, but it was so good. I think it should go before Dexter's Laboratory. Do you want to put it before Adventure Time? I like it more than Adventure Alrighty. Time. Alrighty, I, I think it's cute. I like, yeah, I like it quite a bit. Uh, Futurama. Um, everyone will kill me if I don't put it above B. <laughs> I, for some I've reason, never seen it. So. Drama just has, like, this cult following. <laughs> but I really don't think it's that funny. Like, I don't know. I don't know why, but it's, like, here for me. All right. I like it more than Aqua Teen. That, that's about where I'd put Futurama. Gravity Falls. I think Gravity Falls... I remember seeing commercials for it after I stopped watching Cartoon Network. Yeah, I haven't seen any of it. This is a little bit... Yeah. I've heard good stuff about it. The Grim Adventures of Bill and Mandy. Bill? Billy. Billy yeah. and Mandy. It's Billy and Mandy. Sorry. I really like Billy, uh, the Grim Adventures. I thought it was really cute, too. I, that's one of the shows that I really like. It reminded me of Courage, the Cowardly Dog, but it, it was, definitely it was does. nowhere as good. Nowhere near as good as that. I want it to go up with, like, Cat Dog and Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Like, um, it was that good. I liked it. Uh, I'll put it there. Alrighty. I think that's good. Adam told me he hates it. What? <laughs> He yeah. hates everything that I love. Hey, yeah, Montana. I think that's dumb. Oh, you think it's dumb? I actually watch it quite a bit. No, I think I've seen almost every episode. But you think it's dumb? I just don't think it's super awesome. Like, I think I'll put it above Camp Laszlo. Alrighty. Because I, I feel like I watched it so much because it was on. Yeah. You probably liked, like, uh, The Brother... Like, he did yeah, stupid funny stuff. Yeah, I think stuff. about him, but I can't remember his name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Arnold. Hey, Arnold. That was really good. I don't really remember. I don't hey remember Arnold. a whole lot of it either. I just remember that when it was on, like, I loved to watch it, but... I just remember his head shaped like a football. <laughs> <laughs> Where would you put it? Because you like it. Probably behind, like... Danny Phantom or even behind Ben 10. Like, it was good, but, like, again, I can't remember m very much about it. We'll stick it right there. Okay. I Carly. I thought that was pretty funny, especially with, like, um, her brother on it was funny. What was his name? I don't remember. Oh, my gosh. Spencer. Spencer. Yeah. yeah. I That was a good show. I it's thought funny. I Carly was really funny. Yeah. It was, like, if Hannah Montana was good. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. So, mm, flapjack, but flapjack. I'll put it with a flapjack, yeah, because I feel like it appeals to more people than flapjack would. Invader Zim. Have you seen Invader Zim? Mm -mm. 
I even though I talk about it sometimes, oh, I actually have not seen it. The Magic School Bus is on it. here. Is the Magic School Bus on Cartoon Network? I don't know, but it's on here, and I love that. All one. right, I guess we're doing it. I'm gonna put it in Never Seen because I've actually not seen it. Mm -hmm. I just know the characters. Yeah, like we know it because it was so popular. Like that's how a lot of these are. I watched a lot of Cartoon Network. Oh, uh, the Jetsons. I like that one. I've seen... Your guys' Roomba is named after the robot. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, I've seen an episode or two, but, but just no memories there of yeah. the Jetsons. We can put it in Never Seen if you want. I think it's pretty good. Well, what, what would you rate it? Cause you I'd probably put it behind Ben 10 just because, like, it's older and I haven't watched it as much as I've watched and loved the other ones. But it's definitely better <laughs> than anything that's the one. Okay. Jimmy Neutron. <gasps> I, I, like, it. I like Jimmy Neutron. Wait, which thing? <laughs> the thing that you and Brent always say to each other. Oh, what's well, poppin' Jimbo? That one? <laughs> yeah. Well, we just say that whenever we... I know, but you guys say it all the time. Like, every time you get together, you both have to say it, like, three times before it's like, all right. It's funny. <laughs> all right. Jimmy Neutron. I think it's up here somewhere. Definitely. Because it's really, really good. I, I, I had I, the game. Did you have the game? I don't know. I think what, it was what just... What was it? It was a PlayStation? Disc. No, it, oh. was a, it was a PC game. Then no, I didn't. Uh... Somewhere up here. I, I think I like Dexter's Lab a little bit more. Okay. That, yeah, that looks good. Johnny Test. Johnny Test. Johnny Test was good. I thought it was good. I like that. It's a lot... I want I want to say it's a lot like Ben 10 for me. Like, I like them. I think that the logos just look similar. Is that what's throwing me off? I think that's what's getting you. Because, I mean, look at that. I don't know. I think okay. it looks pretty similar. And the green's kind of the same. I liked... I liked it about as much as Ben 10, too, actually. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was good, but it wasn't, like, super awesome. Yeah, I just watched it when it was on. <gasps> Johnny Bravo! I haven't really watched a whole lot of Johnny Bravo. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Baby! Ah. <laughs> 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 uh, I don't know where I'd put it though. <laughs> like even though I, I know Johnny Bravo. I can't think of any episodes. I just can think of the character. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know what to do with him. You're on a yeah, like right there. I'm gonna put Corey in the house above. No. There we go. Already. Kim Possible. I thought Kim Possible was really cool. Kim Possible was really cool. She was like the one cool female cartoon yeah. <laughs> at the time. Like, it wasn't like, oh yeah, this, this is a girl, so it's a girl's cartoon. It was like, ah, oh, this is somebody who fights crime. Super awesome. Yeah. Naked Mole Rat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's that too. Uh, I put it. I kind of want to put it above the Clone Wars just because I haven't seen very much of it, but I am I like the Clone Wars more. Alrighty, you've uh, seen more of it, so you get a judge. King of the Hill, meme the TV show. <laughs> um, King of the Hill is good because it is just like super dry humor and super just like. I don't know. It it's, looks like it's going to be boring, and then if you actually watch an episode, it's like, that's actually pretty funny. But it's not, like, amazing. I think I'd put it, like, here. Have you seen it? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Codename Kids Next Door. That was awesome. It has to go up at least in A. Yeah, I agree. Um, I'd almost put it in S, because, like, I waited till that came on, like, I would get off the bus and nobody would be home because my mom would go pick up my sister and like I'd just wait for this to come on. Uh, is this a good spot? I'll let you do that, yeah. Okay, I think that's a good. Uh, my life as a teenage robot. That was really good too. Oh, yeah, I liked it. 
Um, how much? Mm. Here? Yeah, I'd go there. Okay. Uh, the Looney Tunes show. I don't think I've seen the actual Looney Tunes. I've seen Wait, the, what's the, difference? the Looney Tunes, the babies. Like the... I don't know what the difference in those two. I don't... Mm. All right, well, the Looney Tunes were... <laughs> I don't know what to say about the Looney Tunes. I don't know. Yeah. I never really watched them because I, I just watched the When They Were Babies, the TV show about when they were babies. That was really cool. I thought it was funny. I have not. Oh. I, yeah, here? I, I'll let you do that, yeah. I really don't know. Actually, how's that? Okay. I would not God. watch the Looney Tunes over Danny Phantom. any of these right here. I would put it right above the Jetsons. Okay. Okay. Magic School, Magic School Bus. Bus. I think that should go an S. Uh, like, you know, when you were in school... And you had a sub, and the sub didn't want to do anything, and so you watched an episode of Magic School Bus. I don't deny that the Magic School Bus was a savior in school. <laughs> but if I was sitting at home, I would watch any of these over the Magic School Bus. I think I have most of the episodes of the Magic School Bus on VHS. I would put it here. Where would you put it? At least at the front of A. We'll split the difference. Okay. Okay. <laughs> My gym partner's a monkey. monkey I want to say monkey. I've seen a couple episodes of that, but that's not, that's not one of the shows I got super into. It was not that great. I remember some of it. It was around the time that we stopped watching Cartoon Network. Okay. Kind of like Camp Laszlo. Yeah. Um, I'd probably put it front of C. I'll let you do that. Because I was thinking up here, but I, I wouldn't watch it over any of these, honestly. Uh, Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide. I remember watching it, and I remember oh, it was... I, like... I don't know. It was good, but it wasn't. I would watch many other shows before I watch this. I think it should at least go by Looney Tunes. Like, I love that show as well. Like, I watch that all the time. I think I think that's good. Okay. Just right there? Yeah. Okay, Phineas and Ferb. <laughs> uh, what do you think? Is that a Cartoon Network show? I don't think so. I think it's a Disney Channel show. That's what I thought. But, well, it's here, so right. we'll rate it. <laughs> I think Phineas and Ferb is really good. I like it somewhere up here. Like that. I think that's okay. Because I think... I don't know. It had a, like, recurring theme where it was like, Oh, the sister's going to find out. Or not find out. The sister's going to tell the parents. Yeah. But... They, I don't know how, but they always found a way to, to still make it interesting. Yeah, and then you had, like, Dr. Doofenshmirtz. He was, like, all in every episode. Yeah. And Perry. It, I thought it was good, because you have, like, three storylines going at the same time. Yeah, and they're all interesting. Like, I really didn't care too much about Phineas and Ferb. I really cared about, like, what's going on with Perry the Platypus yeah. versus uh, <laughs> Dr. Doofenshmirtz. That's hard to say. All right, let's keep this going. 25 minutes. Okay. Powerpuff, Powerpuff Girls. Girls. That's an older one. That is an older one. I remember liking it a lot. I remember it was really cool. I'll let you do that, yeah. Okay. Uh, regular show. Regular show is great. Regular show is awesome. Is that the one with, like, the bird... Yeah, with Mordecai and Rigby. Yeah, okay, okay. I know it's the going bird on and the uh, yeah. That's pretty raccoon. good. I think it is That's an adult swim show, isn't it? No. No. It was uh 
It was one of the shows that started right whenever we were about to stop watching Cartoon Network that was actually good. <laughs> <laughs> like, The Amazing World of Gumball and Regular Show were... Yeah, because I know we we watched that recently. Like, I don't remember, like, watching it on TV ever. I just remember watching it with you on, like, Netflix or Hulu or whatever. <sighs> I'm having a dilemma. Because I would... I think I'd put it above Adventure Time. I'd go with that. I haven't watched as much Adventure Time as you, though. And... Okay, yeah, that's good. Um, it's weird, though, because I would put it above Adventure Time, but probably not above Dexter's Lab. Do you want to move Dexter's Lab real quick? No, because I don't want I wouldn't want to watch <laughs> that, that one over that one. Okay, Ren and Stimpy. I have no idea what that is. You don't know what it is? No. I've seen maybe an episode, so I, I'm going to put it down okay. here. So, because I, I wouldn't be able to rate it. Robot, Robot Chicken. Chicken. Have you seen Robot Chicken? I don't think so, but it sounds like super familiar. So, short funny story. I got my teacher, uh, Mr. Walker, to <laughs> show a... Uh, <laughs> show a clip from robot chicken in class oh which gosh. robot chicken is super inappropriate but i found one that was uh it was a kid who wanted all the other kids desks because he was uh he was supposed to be like germany oh yeah okay and uh america like they were off doing their own thing and then the kid like spilled his drink or something and well, sorry. At first, he was like, "It's not my problem." And then the kid who was supposed to be Germany. Oh no! It was Japan, because it was supposed to be the Hiroshima, st or the stuff before Hiroshima. Whenever they bombed Pearl, bombed Harbor. Pearl Harbor. Sorry, I'm going. I'm trying to go fast because <laughs> the video. But um, yeah, he like knocked over his drink, which was supposed to symbolize Pearl yeah. Harbor, and he was like, "Now it's my problem." And Mr. Walker thought that that was the best thing in the world, so he showed it to the class. If you could get something that was relatively related to history, he'd show it in class. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so... Where would I put Robot Chicken, though? I, at first, I thought it was funny because I was an immature little kid. <laughs> so... But then, as I grew up, I realized, like, th these are kind of dumb. Yeah. I'd probably put it, like, here? I'm okay with that. I've never okay. seen it. I haven't seen most of the stuff below it, either. Rocket Power? I don't know what that is. Me neither. Rocco's Modern Life. I don't know what that is. I need to look up the character. Like, I could see the character. And, like, I know I've heard about it, but I've never actually watched it. 1992. Okay, so it's an older one. Huh. Okay. Um, yeah, I haven't really seen it either. Rugrats. What do you think about Rugrats? I love Rugrats. How much do you love Rugrats? At least a... I'd like... I'd like it to go an S, but I don't... I don't think you put it up there. No, I watched it a lot when I was younger, and I remember really liking it. So I think for pure nostalgia, I could put it about here. Already. Because they did a crossover with um, the Wild Thornberries. That was really cool. The wild Thornberries? Yeah. Okay. Samurai Jack. I haven't really seen that. I have not seen as much as I should. Oh, like, see the Wild Thornberries. Oh, hey. Um, man, I know it's really, really good. But I just don't know how good. I don't know how much of it is actually being good and how much of it is hype. Yeah, because I know all your friends really like that show, but yeah. we haven't really watched a whole lot of it. I'm going to put it here. I've seen it, but I haven't seen enough to judge it. I think that's fair. All right. Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo. I know you absolutely love Scooby-Doo. I Scooby -Doo. love Scooby-Doo. I enjoyed Scooby-Doo quite a bit, but it wasn't like one of my absolute favorites just because you knew what was going to happen yeah i mean after like going through all of these i wouldn't say like i wouldn't want it to go above ed ed and eddie but like it's one of the shows that i really liked as a kid 
but like based on all these other ones i'm like yeah i watched that one way more than i watched scooby-doo i used to watch the old movies and stuff not so much the tv show yeah the simpsons i don't think i've ever seen a full no i've seen one full episode of the simpsons because miss haroldson showed it because they did something about the raven the poem Mm -hmm. the edgar allen yeah Yeah. i remember (laughs) that's the only episode i've seen i gotcha um the simpsons i i like the simpsons but i don't know the simpsons has it has a lot of hype that i don't really get i did the ride at um whatever theme park is at i think i'd put it about there i'll let you do that i I think it's way better than all of these yeah funny shows yeah okay south park i haven't seen south park south park is wildly inappropriate (laughs) very satirical and funny they they do a good job of not giving a crap (laughs) and just kind of saying what they want about the world which i give them props for Mm mm-hmm I'd put it down here. I, I'd put it right here. Okay. I don't like it as much as other people. Oh, it's SpongeBob. I'll let you put it there, yeah. That's it, a, I think it's really funny. And we were just talking about it on the way home. We were quoting it in the car. I don't think it should go above Avatar, but I'll let you put it above Courage the Cowardly Dog. <sighs> Why do you like Avatar so much? Avatar is amazing. I think that they should be even. Because you love Avatar, but I love Spongebob. Alright. Okay. There you go. Steven Universe. I haven't seen that either. My ex-girlfriend made me watch quite a bit of this with her. (laughs) And I think... It has a cult following. Like most of these shows. Mm, like a good third of these shows. Steven Universe. I don't know. I just have this bad stigma with it because of who I watched it with. But it's not bad. It's about here. Sweet Life on Deck. I think we should do Sweet Life of Zack and Cody and then go back to Sweet Life Okay, Deck. Sweet like, Life of Zack and Cody. I th- I really liked it because that's what I grew up watching. Yeah, I liked it too. It was, it was funny. It was always something new. It was like somewhere up here. Yeah, definitely. Uh, oh, I think that's good. Okay. Uh, Sweet Life on Deck. I think it was... Actually, I'm gonna... I think Sweet Life on Deck was really good, too. I think it was good, but no It was, near. yeah. It wasn't as good as the original. I think it was, like... And it was kind of cool, because, like... I mean, we weren't the same age as they were in Sweet Life, but we were around there. And so then, when they did Sweet Life on Deck, we were around that age, kind of. And so it was kind of cool to be like, yeah, these characters are growing up with us. I think that's what they like to do with a bunch of these shows, is like have the characters grow up with you. But Yeah, they they had this original great one, and then they were like, we gotta revive it. We need more money. <laughs> <laughs> and it was, it was good still. They did a good job, but it wasn't It as wasn't good. as good, yeah. Uh, Total Drama Island. I could barely read that. I know I've seen some of it, and I thought it was okay, but it wasn't like amazing i'm gonna do this real quick uh total drama island i really i actually enjoyed it because it was like it was almost like they were making fun of the like survivor yeah like uh, tv shows like that or like uh big brother yeah i think i've only seen a handful of episodes so it felt like a parody of those I think it was about here. Alrighty, I'll let you do that. I think I the, out of the five episodes that I watched, I thought it was pretty good. Sorry, I keep switching around. I keep thinking things. Teen Titans. Teen Titans was great. Now is this 
the original Teen Titans? This or is, is the it original being... Teen okay. Titans because it doesn't say Teen Titans Go. Oh, that's right. They changed it a little bit. Yeah, they changed the title. <laughs> they changed it a lot of it. Well, I mean the the title, so they'd yeah, they be like, the title. this is not what you think it is. Yeah, this is trash now. Don't be You're disappointed. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Teen Titans, the original, honestly, like, somewhere up here for me. I think I'd put it behind Codenames, Kid okay. Next Door. Okay, that's so Raven. Now, this was what Cory in the house came out of. This is, so, this is Raven's li- li- little brother was Cory. Right. But I think, again, I thought this show was much better than Cory in the house. Much better. Like, how much, much better? Cory in the house was just a giant meme. It was a giant meme, and that's why I kind of like it. <laughs> Maybe that's why I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's better, like... I want it to at least go behind Ned's The Classified School Survival Guide. I want to put it above that. I really didn't like it that much. All right. Okay. Uh, the Wild Thornberries. Yeah, you got this. Have you never seen this show? No. I think it should go up with the Rugrats. Because those two, those two shows are amazing. And they did, they did a lot of crossover stuff. So. Okay. Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry? So, fun fact. my uh, Somebody who used to be my friend, no longer my friend. <laughs> that sounds so <laughs> sad and <laughs> ominous. <laughs> Their uncle was a writer for Tom and Jerry. He actually came up with the idea for Tom and Jerry. That's was, super cool. At least that's what I was told. So if that's wrong, then my friend, well, my, if he's my a, ex-friend, is a liar. <laughs> if he's a writer, it means he probably came up with some of the stories. Maybe not. Tom but, and Jerry. Yeah, that's, but like that's an episode. probably it. He was probably trying to make himself sound all super cool. Super cool. Okay, so Tom and Jerry. Uh, I think it goes like here. You wouldn't want to put it up any higher? I could put it up higher. I liked it more than Looney Tunes. I was just associating those two. I think it's really good. Okay, how's that? I'll let you put it there, yeah. Okay. Wizards of Waverly Place. I was never allowed to watch this show. Oh, yeah. So I... I know Emmy, like, maybe a month ago started watching it. Like, watching all of it. Um... And I'm pretty sure she was watching it on Disney+, Plus, which we no longer have. Ooh. That's probably why she texts me all the time to get it back. (laughs) So, I... I actually enjoyed it. For some reason. I don't know why I liked it, but I did. I remember people liking it, like it being funny and stuff. It, I guess just because, yeah, it was funny. I think I'd put it, like, here. Okay. Okay. Uh, Zeke and, L- and Luther? Oh... Uh. From 2009. I, I want to say I've seen an episode of this. I recognize that person's face. I know the other kid because he was in um, How to Eat Fried Worms or... You, you uh, remember yeah, that yeah, movie? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I think oh, he was the bully in it. It was Disney XD. Why is this on here? It was Disney XD. <laughs> Did okay. you ever watch anything on Disney XD? No. That was like... After we had stopped watching. Uh, yeah, I was pretty close to it. Zoe 101? I don't remember Zoe 101. I don't know what that's about. I don't think I watched it. Here? Sure. Okay, that's all of them. Holy <laughs> cow. Okay, so that took... We cut down about ten, ten minutes. minutes. <laughs> Woo! But there were more, I think. Yeah. Maybe. Um, anything you want to move? Anything look a little funky? I think I'm going to do this. Okay. And I'm going to move some of these up. Alrighty, I'll let you do that, yeah. So what do you think in here deserves S tier? Definitely Codename Kids Next Door. I think I'm going to do this. Yeah. And actually that too, but no no more. Would you want to move, see like these shows right in here, like regular show, to like 
Dexter's like I've never seen this, so I don't know. But I really liked um, the Billy and Mandy. So you would I think that bump would bump it up a little bit. I want to move it up to S, but that's up to you because you you have say on those shows. I think I think this I think this. That's looking pretty good to me. Um, I don't know. Would any, you want to move other? Magic School Bus up to S, or do you want to leave it in A? I don't have anything against the Magic School <laughs> Bus, but I just don't think it was as good as people say. I think it's just really cool, because, like, I want to be a biology teacher, and, like, that for me was the best show I ever had growing up because it was all about science I thought it was amazing I'll move it up for you yay (laughs) so uh, I think that's pretty good more that I think about this the more I'm like uh. I think it's good what we have right now Alrighty. Okay. All right. Well, that was our Cartoon Network with a little bit of Disney for some reason. With a little bit of and Nickelodeon. Yeah, Nickelodeon. And other. I didn't even think about Drake and Josh being Nickelodeon. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it's just kind of like what we grew up with as kids, just all over TV shows. Yeah, I'm glad it has Teen Titans and not Teen Titans Go. Yeah, that would have been sad. Because I would have put Teen Titans Go in D for sure. <laughs> I hate that show so much because they replaced they replaced the good one. All right, anyways, we're signing off. <laughs> okay, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.